what I've learned that works if you're an investor, no matter how much money you've got, whether it's $5,000 or $500 million, diversification is what saves you from disaster. Having investments in a wide range of businesses and sectors, there's always something working when something else isn't. So today I can go to bed tonight knowing that I have one objective. I want to go to bed richer than I woke up. And the only way that's going to happen to me is to be invested in a lot of different things. Because every day one thing works while three others don't. But sometimes that's why you get richer. In 2008 and 2009, I put everything into MLPs and MREITs, the um, um, mortgage-backed securities, ones that I thought were the better companies. Um, and I just piled in. And I also piled into Australian bonds because I thought the economy was good next to China. It was my way of playing China. So you and make one-way bets. This isn't portfolio balancing you're no, talking about. Yeah, all that asset management, you know, diversification, that's for idiots, right? Because you because you can't you can't diversify enough to know what you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I made this series because I wanted to promote understanding and awareness. I wanted you to see that it's not always looking at it as one thing or the other, but if you embrace the genius of the and and bring those two seemingly opposite points of view together that that is where the true genius lies. I want you to see that you can learn from both of the people that are profiled in the video, especially probably from the person who you don't immediately agree with. If you can understand their perspective and apply it to your life, chances are it'll help you get to where you want to go a lot faster. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. I'll join the discussion. Continue to believe and I'll see you soon.